Hello there. You're probably wondering, Ash, what is this unboxing video about? Well, I will tell you. The camera's there, why are you looking over there? Dramatic effect, my guy! Anyway, so today, as you can tell, got some nice... We got some boxes. I do love me some boxes. Uh, so, I did a bit the Amazon deli got an Amazon delivery, this, some... I got myself some stuff, I got myself some Blu-rays and some figures. Oh my god, he's reviewing figures and teams, that's crazy. But yeah, I did get some, I got some 4Ks and I got some figures and I got some, I want a little something else as well, which I'll probably do first. So, let's just get straight into the review, sh review shall we? So, open this first big old box. We're in. Those look sick. I'll open the second one as well first. Oh, I'm just a fucking metalhead. So, what we got first is I'm going to talk about this first. It's a bit of a Doctor Who thing, and it's a book actually. I haven't bought a book in so long, but I saw this. It was for five pounds. Five, 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 five pounds, five ninety nine. Anyway, I really like this story. And Target do Target, but like Target Publishing, they do novelization of Doctor Who stories, and they've been doing the sort of thinner ones like this so I decided to pick one up and that is Doctor Who's Dalek this is the Christopher Eccleston story that uh, aired in 2005 first ever episode ever watched one of my favorites it's in my top 10 of all time might be in my actually top five episodes of all time I think it is actually but yeah this is a really great story I love Christopher Eccleston glad he's coming back to big finish but I want to read this it's not actually that long either so and I've read both the Eric Sayward versions of Resurrection of the Daleks and Revolution of the Daleks, both fan not Revolution of the Daleks, Revelation of the Daleks, fantastic books, really great. So getting this made me really want to give it go, give it another go. I do like reading, especially Doctor Who stuff. So yeah, nice little book, nice. I love that cover, love the Dalek breaking out the chains like that scene. Ooh. Yeah, it's great. A new book smell. I can't beat you can't beat new book smell. So we're gonna look at some 4K. Got some 4Ks. So as you know, if you saw my uh, what I've been watching video, I talked about the Snyder Cut and how much I liked it. I enjoyed it more than the Josh Whedon version of the film. I do quite like the MC, uh, the DCEU, uh, so I decided that I was going to pick up these films on 4K because I actually like both of them, even though people say they don't really like them. But uh, to, I, feel, I like them personally, but that's just me. So we've got Man of Steel on 4K. Uh, I really like this film. I remember seeing it in the cinema back when I was in high school. I really enjoyed it then. Rewatching it, really enjoyed it. I haven't watched it for actually ages now, so I'm excited to watch this on 4K. Didn't get a still book for it because there isn't one. At the same time, I'm happy. It's come with the sleeve. It comes with that, so it's very nice. I do really like Henry Cavill as Superman. It's a shame that I'm not going to get to see any more of him because they won't do any more, which is a shame. But I do really like this. Great cast. You got a great cast in this. Got obviously Henry Cavill, Amy Adams. Michael Shannon, Kevin Costner, Diane Lane, Lawrence Fishburne, and Russell Crowe. Great cast. Loads of big names in this. I do like the gritty style that Zack Snyder does, because it feels like a graphic novel on a film. Yeah, not obviously it's not going to be 100%. No, no comic movie is 100%, is it? But still, I really like this, and I'm glad to have it on 4K. But the other one I got on 4K, which is, for some reason, the slipcover is not in the cellophane, whereas the other one. I saw this in the cinema when I was at university, uh, went it with my housemate uh, Josh. Uh, we both really liked it. I really like it, and that is Aquaman with Jason Momoa there and the nice. Thing. I got this version because it was a nice still book book for it, but but I don't want thingy on the front cover. So got this one where it's just Aquaman on the front. Very nice. Really like this film actually. It's a bit obviously there's a lot going on. There's a hell of a lot going on in this film, but at the same time, I really like it. Black Mamba as well. Glad he's in it. My favorite Aquaman villain of all time. One of my favorite villains in DC. I just really like him and what he stands for in the comic books. He's not really the same in this, but at the same time, he looks sick. That I love how cool the costume looks. It looks very Power Ranger-esque. I love it. I just love this film. It's a lot of fun. It's really great. Jason Momoa, great Aquaman in my opinion. Yeah. And I think this did do him a lot of justice compared to like how he was. It, because obviously this came after the Whedon version and he's much better in the Snyder version. But really like this. Great fun film. Really like it. 
yeah, and that's Aquaman on 4K. I can't wait to check out these transfers. So the last thing I've got is three things together, and they are Pop Funkos. I don't really like Pop Funkos anymore. Like, I stopped collecting them quite a while ago. The last one I remember getting was... I got two for my birthday during the first lockdown. They were from both my housemates. I got a Reconnaissance Dalek from the first New Year's Day special from the Chipnall era of Doc 2, and I got Lilith. These were well, both great. Love those ones. Housemates did a great job. The last ones I bought were from New York City when I went there in 2018. I got Immortal Joe from Mad Max and the guitar player, and I got my house, my current housemate that I've known since college. I got him a Deckard from Blade Runner 2049. So this time, I saw a I saw a you I saw a collector on. Instagram who had these and I thought these were really great and I re and I watched the vi I watched the film for the first time uh, last year for the first time I've been meaning I was meant to watch it for years but I finally sat down and watched it and now I have it. and they are the killer clowns from outer space love this film fantastic film and these look great so obviously we have Jumbo here very creepy clown in the film I like how they've just blacked out eyes if they had the actual eyes from the film I, I would be very freaked out I can't lie but this is Jumbo yeah He's a, he's a tall guy. He's a funny guy. They're all funny, aren't they? Uh, very nice to have. So, Jumbo. And I was just like, I didn't just get one, of course. I also got Shorty. Here he is. With that, look at that cheeky little grin of his. With his little boxing gloves. Shorty's hilarious. Like, all the stuff that he gets into throughout the film. It's funny. I, I really I actually really like these Pop Funkos. I don't usually like Pop Funkos, but these Pop Funkos are sick. Good old little Shorty there. Oh, he's great. Oh, he looks fantastic. But obviously, we didn't just get the get the two. We obviously in the other box, we obviously got our main man, Spikey, another creepy guy in the kit film. Look at that with his nice little. If you can see that, he's got his little balloon animal. I'll obviously do a quick close unboxing, a like unbox version of them afterwards. But yeah, wow, that is sick. Love Killer Counts from Outer Space. It's a fantastic movie, and I think everyone should go watch it. Go pick up the Arrow video version of it. It's fantastic. The transfer looks crisp. Going for a closer look now. So here's a close-up of Jumbo, Shorty and Spikey. We're now going to quickly unbox the three of them and see what they look like. So here's Jumbo out of the box. It looks kind of cre quite creepy on the box button. The actual pop figure, it looks very nice. Also, when you sit all far away from him, the, the, the finger looks like it's flipping you off. It's quite funny. Oh, it's just fallen over. He's got his nice little hammer that he has who tricks that person into in the film. Then yeah, very nice pop figure, very nicely detailed. So there's Shorty in comparison to the box art. There he is, his little boxing gloves. Oh, it looks fantastic. I love the detailing on the face, like the makeup and all the wrinkles. As the actual costumes themselves do have a lot of wrinkles to them, like they took for that extra detailing. But yeah, a great little guy. I love this guy. He's sick. And finally, here we have Spikey. I must say his mouth doesn't look as creepy as it does on the box, which is kind of nice, actually. I do like him. Like he's got the nice little balloon, killer balloon animal, like dog that he makes, that like they use as like a, a bloodhound. I do like also him in his pink hair, very nice. He stands out against the other two, which I'm going to show now. And of course, here we are. We have all three of the boys together. Fantastic. These three look fantastic together, and they look fucking amazing. I love them. These guys are sick. But yeah, that was that's just going to be it for today, guys. Just a small unboxing from my Amazon delivery. I've got a few other videos in the pipeline. But anyway, that's just a little fun fit, little stuff. I hope you enjoy this video. I uh, hope you have a nice day. Go watch some films. Go go clean your figures. I can see I see the dust on them shelves. Go do it. I can't talk. I haven't I haven't cleaned this one in ages. I it is well overdue in my opinion. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Anyway, I hope you have a good day. Anyway, I hope you have a great day, guys. Uh, I've been your boy. Make sure you have a great day. Yeah. Peace.